This is your tropics update for Friday afternoon, August 10th. As you can see, the Hurricane Center is still watching Tropical Depression 7 and Invest 93L, which is a tropical wave that has exited the coast of Africa. And although Ernesto has dissipated over Mexico, it's going to likely redevelop over here on the eastern Pacific side. Starting close to home, the Gulf, Caribbean, and West Atlantic remain quiet. Despite all of this convection near Jamaica, this is related to a system that is more so in the mid to upper levels and is not tropical in nature, so no development is anticipated. So on the Atlantic side, all eyes are still on Tropical Depression 7 as it continues to move westward toward the Caribbean. Tropical storm watches are now in effect for much of the Lesser Antilles, but as you can see, within 72 hours, the Hurricane Center is now forecasting TD7 to weaken to a tropical wave and this tropical storm watch has been issued mainly for precautionary reasons. The zoomed in floater of Tropical Depression 7 continues to show that the system is very ill-defined. The low level surface circulation is looking rather ragged and the limited amount of convection that the storm does have is displaced much to its south and to the west. This is because of not only more shear beginning to interact with the tropical system but also a lot of dry air that is entrenched over much of the Central Atlantic. All of the dynamical models are in agreement that this very large and powerful upper level low will continue to slide toward the southwest, thus inducing increasing amounts of vertical wind shear over TD7 as it passes through the Lesser Antilles. So it looks very likely that TD7 will weaken to a tropical wave, if not before reaching the islands, then certainly by the time it makes it into the Eastern Caribbean. Therefore, any significant potential for TD7 would be more so in the extended range, and that is only if the forecasted conditions begin to improve in the upcoming model runs, because as of right now, none of the models are showing development or re-strengthening even once the system makes it to the south of Cuba. The 300 millibar vorticity product from the GFS model shows the upper level low and associated mid to upper level trough draped across the Lesser Antilles and into the Caribbean and the six to seven day forecast continues to show troughing out across much of the deep tropics out in the path of TD7. So as of right now, it is unlikely that conditions will improve for any re-strengthening, at least within the next five to six days. Toward days six and seven, any remnants of the tropical wave, if it still exists, would be somewhere near the Yucatan, and we will have to reevaluate what conditions will be like by that time. But as of right now, there are no reasons to suspect that TD7 will re-intensify just yet. You may have also noticed that we did not mention Invest 93L when overviewing the latest GFS, and that is because 93L is already moving so far toward the northwest that even if it did intensify in the extended range, it would likely get picked up and then recurve away from any land masses. And as we transition over to the latest run from the ECMWF model, you can also see 93L near the Cape Verde Islands, along with what is left of TD7. And then as we go into days 1, 2, and 3, TD7 will quickly move westward into the Central Caribbean and then be located somewhere to the south of Hispaniola by Monday morning while a Tropical Disturbance 93L continues to move northwest and is well to the northeast of the Caribbean. As we go into days 5 and day 6 you can see that whatever is left of 93L invest is forecast to be drawn out by a lot of vertical wind shear over the Central Atlantic while also beginning to interact by a lot of mid-latitude troughing out across the Northwest Atlantic and also by day six there's hardly anything left of TD7. You see nothing more than a very broad and weak remnant load that is situated near Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula and then finally this activity starts to move into the Bay of Campeche. So although there are a couple features to watch in the Atlantic this afternoon there are no imminent threats to any land masses. It has also been a while since we mentioned any threats to Mexico on the eastern Pacific side but the remnants of Ernesto are moving into the open waters of the East Pack near the Mexican Riviera, and nearly all of the models are in agreement that the remnants will help to spawn a new tropical cyclone over the next 24 to 72 hours, and the latest output from the ECMWF clearly shows a developing tropical system, but there is a lot of model disagreement as to what the actual track will be beyond days 3 and 4. So that wraps up your tropical weather summary for this Friday. We will be monitoring the tropics throughout the weekend, so keep it tuned to 28storms.com for more discussions, along with our typical videos that are also posted on the Hurricane Tracker app.